Welcome back guys, it's your boy Scooby Stacks, we're continuing on with Life is Strange, episode 3. So we're continuing on where we left off, look for Chloe, so that's where we're at right now. So let's continue on, so let's play. Say nut. Gotcha. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Samuel isn't around. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves, so who does? Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Nuts and bolts, <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Nothing but tools. Nothing here. Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. I know I have a set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, gotcha. He's now, lucky nobody else saw him like that. The Max the Ninja strikes again. Or maybe it's me? Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. 
More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, Rockstar. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh right, except for your ability to... Oh yeah, manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I see the results. And then it's too late to rewind. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody. Even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well... How does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out.
Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. No keys here. Nothing to see here. Desolation. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's here are the keys. Ugh, none for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the help. This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon.
Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. This mixture doth not work. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Only three more items to go. Everybody's asleep. I hate to wake them up, but I want a picture. Good evening, fish fish. Thanks, fish. Nice work. This is like a scene in a horror film. Oh, Kate. Victoria. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max, the art critic. The tape is mine. You're halfway home, Max. ingredient left. Ooh, sugar. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. That was so fucking 
freaking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department! Uh, so what should we do? Get this bastard open. She can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fuck you, door. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. <laughs> 